commodity markets were established only once the means for homogenising the good or service could be found. Many markets, however, are characterised by heterogeneity. So prices alone are un unable to do the work of connecting buyers and sellers. These markets are matching markets, and they include housing. And in fact, within the housing system, there are many matching markets. So what are matching markets? Ooh, got someone doing that. That's fantastic. Matching markets involve actors who are seeking to match with something or someone that's very specific. Often, it involves a need for reci reci reciprocity, and hence the role of matchmakers. Marriage and marriage matchmakers are a very old example, and matching markets really existed before commodity markets existed. But technology is changing the lack of efficiency we have in matching markets. They are overcoming long-standing search and transaction costs. Governments have been leaders in developing mechanisms for improving matching markets in non-monetarised markets such as kidney exchange, school choice and medical intern placements in the US and in many other countries now. And in Australia, I think in an Australian, uh, in a worldwide first, native vegetation offsets, showing you how broad the issue of matching is in many markets. Entrepreneurial actors like RSVP, Airbnb and other short-term letting platforms, PayPal and Uber have all used new technology, primarily quantum computing, but the internet is incredibly important, to reduce market frictions characteristic of matching markets.